Hi, my name is Ryan Lane, and welcome to my review channel. So for today's movie, I will be reviewing The Blackening, directed by Tim Story and starring Grace Byers, Jermaine Fowler, Melvin Gregg, X Mayo, and Twanit Robertson, and Jay Farrow. Anyway, it is Juneteenth weekend, and a group of black college friends have decided to celebrate by going out for the weekend to a cabin in the woods. Because nothing bad ever happens to a group of friends who go out to celebrate during a holiday weekend at a cabin in the woods and also happen to be black. Nothing bad has ever happened to any of those types of people in a horror movie ever. So, anyway, as you might expect, things do, in fact, go very wrong. They are end up becoming hunted down by a man wearing a blackface mask, and they are forced to play what they describe as, quote-unquote, racist monopoly. Anyway, toss in some inner conflict between our main group of protagonists, add some hilariously dark uh, racial humor, and you've got a, a film that, unlike King's uh, Kool-Aid, won't leave a bad taste in your mouth. So the screenplay is where much of this film's strength lies. The racial commentary is hilariously dark and politically incorrect in all the best ways possible. Uh, the It even manages to be rather poignant at times about what it means to be black in America in the 21st century, and even manages to be you know, rather sad at times in some, in some ways. Uh, plus, uh, the film also does a great job of giving multiple red herrings. Like, you'll constantly be wondering, oh, maybe he or she could be the villain. Maybe he could, because each character feels so fully formed and has at least something of a motivation to kill. Like, you could, you could see this person going, it's like, eh, this person, you know, might be the killer. You know, it's... You know, you'll, like any good murder mystery, you'll find yourself, you know, whiff waffling between certain characters throughout the movie. And this film succeeds on that front there. However, the screenplay does have some weaknesses. Like, for starters, the pacing. Again, for a film that is less than 100 minutes long, it, can't, it feels like it drags at certain points in the movie, despite the film having an otherwise consistent, frenetic pacing. There are some times where it's like, Okay, maybe, you know, edit out a scene here or there, perhaps. It just, I don't know. I I can't point to a scene where I would go delete that because the film does a really good job of laying down subtle foreshadowing. And I feel like if you were to delete any of the scenes in this movie, it feels like the film would just become much more convoluted. But at the same time, I feel like maybe we could have condensed some of these scenes just a little bit, you know, shave down the runtime just by a few minutes max, like five, five minutes, five minutes tops. Plus, uh, some jokes, I mean, don't exactly hit their bullseyes and some overstay their welcome. Like for stars, there's a running gag about Adderall and, you know, it starts off funny enough, but then it's like, okay, we get it. This character is high off the rockers on Adderall. Let's, you know, move on to some more funny material, shall we? So the cast all do a great job with their roles. They manage to feel like fully formed characters with their own desires and personalities. And they all, each actor is given a unique angle at which to approach their characters. And they do have great chemistry with each other. They really do feel like friends who have known each other since college for a decade. And you can really see all the uh, camaraderie and at times contempt that the characters feel for each other. It's it's very well done there. The villain, when you do uh, fi find out who the villain is, even, even this villain has a depressing and... I won't say understandable, but you empathizable in some ways. I, I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's a well done, albeit very sadistic motivation, if that makes any sense. Like, as in you understand why this person would look at this group and think, okay, all right, time to play a quote, uh, quote unquote, a game that runs on racism.
So, though its execution isn't always perfect, uh, the blackening makes for a fun racial satire of horror movies thanks to its game cast and hilariously dark racial commentary. So, with all that in mind, I will be giving The Blackening 3.5 out of 5 stars. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. If you like this review, and would like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And for today's comment section prompt of the day, what is your favorite Tim Story film and why?